Our journey begins as we drive from Kigali to Volcanoes National Park, which takes about three hours. Another option is to take a helicopter, which would take you about 20 to 30 minutes. Yes, we are now on the way from Kigali to Volcanoes National Park. This is where we are tracking gorillas. We are driving through Musanze town, which is the second largest city. And then it will be 30 minutes from this town to Vilunga Lodge, which is located right here close to Twin Lakes. Watching the beautiful sunrise this morning before we go for the gorilla tracking. It's 5.45 in the morning. This morning's drive is going to be taking us about 45 minutes based on where we're located in relation to Volcanoes National Park. Everyone pretty much gathers here at Volcanoes National Park in Kinigi at 7 a.m. and we are going to be allocated a family group on the day itself according to fitness levels. In the times that we're living in now, there's a couple of additional protocols that we need to adhere to as you can see. Wash your hands yeah. and then from here, please welcome uh, to order the coffee you want. Then you can have it here, you can walk there, mm -hmm. just stay around. I will let you know the time. Whilst waiting to be debriefed, everyone can head across to the little coffee center. You've got Question Coffee here and everyone gets free coffee, anything you'd like. Espresso, lattes, you name it. Um, and it's just a great way to start your day really before the hike. So we're just told which group we're going to be assigned to and we meet patients who's going to be our guide for today and he's going to be working closely with the trackers um, to be able to lead us to where the gorillas are. This debriefing session takes about 15 minutes or so where the guide basically explains all the protocols and rules about how we should be behaving when we visit and come into contact with the gorillas. I am Patience, that's my name. I am a Gorilla Guide. When people come here, I'm the one who takes them to visit the gorillas, to enjoy them. But apart from gorillas, we also do visit the other uh, tourist activities in the park, like uh, golden monkeys, uh, hiking the volcanoes, uh, visiting the uh, uh, den of the tomb. Yes, I'm the one to take them there because uh, uh, I'm familiar with these animals. I worked with them with uh, many, many years. Once the debriefing session comes to an end, just make sure that you run to the toilet one last time because this will be the last opportunity to use the bathrooms just in case you need it. Otherwise, you'll need to be using the bush toilets. It's 8 o'clock and we're now driving down to our starting point where we're going to be meeting our porters. Now, porters are a huge part of this hike as well. For $10, porters were a huge help in supporting us through our hike, and so I definitely recommend it without a doubt. For $200, you could also be taken up in a stretcher just in case you weren't able to perform the hike in person. Generally speaking, it's very much encouraged to take up the services provided by the local people because in doing so, you're directly contributing and supporting the local community. The porters, to hire them is very important because uh, the porters are from this area. Many of them, before, the old ones were the porters and the young ones are the, the, the sons and daughters of, of porters. To, build, to, to go up there with them is to uh, just uh, help them to understand that the conservation is very important. When they're paid, they understand that these animals are important, they can't do nothing. Uh, to, to, to harm these animal, animal, animals. It's a way of improving them in conservation. My name is Andrew. I'm a porter. I'm carrying the people from a common visit to Godina. One of the beautiful parts about this hike is also the scenery that you get to take in along the way. Everyone works together as a group and no one is left behind and we always follow the pace of the last person so no one feels left out. 
On the way up, the guide also shares a little bit about the environment, culture, and surroundings, so you get a good feeling about the people and culture of the area. <laughs> the hikes can last anywhere between 30 minutes to four or even more hours, so it's really important to come prepared, obviously with the right gear, but also with some snacks, just in case you get hungry. <laughs> this, this is my way of eating breakfast on the way, <laughs> going into the gorillas. I don't need to eat uh, breakfast at home. A couple of things I would highly recommend as part of what to wear. So first of all, gaiters are really useful to protecting your trousers and your legs from the thorns. Lodges may actually provide them for free, so it's best to check with them if you decide not to buy your own. A good pair of hiking boots is also really helpful as you'll most likely be wading through some kind of thick mud. Thick trousers and long sleeve top goes without saying to protect your body from the trees and the bushes. It might get a little warmer as you hike so you might not land up needing the fleece at some point. A few things that we think would be helpful in terms of extras to bring a listed here. One of the things I'd like to call out is the gardening gloves, although that's recommended, we didn't actually find they were necessarily something that we needed throughout the hike. A couple of helpful tips for you is one, to tuck your trousers into your socks and the reason for this is because there might be some little red ants and we don't want them crawling up your legs. Although porters are available, it's recommended to carry the necessaries only. And don't forget a spare memory card as well as a battery pack as well. In terms of the hiking sticks, those will be provided to you at the time of your journey. These mountain gorillas, as you've seen them, they're so beautiful animals. They look like humans. They only live in this area of volcanoes in the whole world. You can't see them somewhere else. They're endemic in this area. To come to see them is, is to support their conservation. Is to support them to keep living forever. Everybody has to come to contribute to, that, to their survival. Uh, everybody, just for all age of people, can enjoy because we look at their fitness, then we assign groups uh, accordingly. We have to make sure that everybody who goes to see gorillas is going to see them. We do put uh, ourselves in the shoes of the, 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 the toys to come here and make sure that all of them uh, enjoy this beautiful animal and enjoy their experience. Given that we are close genetic relatives with the gorillas, there's a high risk of disease transmission and as a result, visitors should maintain at least a 7 meter distance to the gorillas because we don't want to land up transmitting anything to them. In times of COVID, visitors are also required to wear a mask when we're in the presence of the gorillas. Of course though, the gorillas don't necessarily know about the 7 meter rule and as you can see, they can come really, really close to you. At this point, it's important not to run or panic. Just try and remain calm, avoid eye contact with them and follow the lead of your guide. When it comes like that, nothing you can do. This will be throwing the display to him. I don't know if you know how high.
Once you're with the gorillas, you'll have a good 45 minutes to about an hour just to sit, observe, and follow these animals in their natural habitat. Before you know it, the hour is going to fly by and it's going to be time to say goodbye. And somehow the trek down seems a lot quicker than the trek up to see the gorillas. I have developed a deep respect for the conservation efforts of the Rwandan people. The mountain gorilla populations have grown steadily in recent decades, thanks largely to the intensive conservation efforts in not only in Rwanda, but also in Uganda and Congo. Being in the presence of these incredible animals reminded me of the fact that animals too, just like us, experience feelings of love, of sadness, and of joy. They are sentient beings just like us that wish to avoid suffering and to attain happiness in their lives. And as much as there was this huge temptation to capture everything on camera, it's also really important to be mindful and completely present in this remarkable once-in-a-lifetime experience with the mountain gorillas.